हेलो एवरी वन और गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वुड लाइक टू वेलकम टू आवर दिस सेशन ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल सो होप ऑल आर गुड सो गैस आई वुड लाइक टू ऑफिशियल वेलकम टू ऑल टू आवर दिस न्यू एस एस बी बूस्टर क्रास क्रास कोर्स सीरीज एंड दिस इज योर द फास्ट सेशन वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द यूनिटी थार्ट दैट इज पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन and uh, i have already uh, with respect to that i have already share a uh, study plan uh, in the tele telegram id telegram channel so if you have not uh, uh, go through that please uh, see that okay so today we will discuss about uh, the nature scope significance of the public administration uh, along with principle of organization personal administration public policy and new public administration and new public management so this is our today topic and today we will cover the around uh, 21 question with respect to our uh, this syllabus and this question are frame in such a way which is uh, uh, in a trend in our uh, ssb lecture and the pgt uh, the examination okay so this is going to be our whole uh, the uh, the principle of our class so hope you all uh, clear with this point and uh, before starting the class i would like to tell few thing that uh, uh, from today onwards we are uh, starting a new series and uh, each and every day you will get uh, a dedicated video uh, with respect to a structure preparation plan and for that what you need to do you need to cover the topic from your side uh, as a homework and uh, uh, that that topic will be cover in the uh, your video okay through the question practice so i will provide uh, like this is the your topic of today so you will get also the topic of the tomorrow so you have to you what you need to do you need to cover the topic or you have to revision that topic from your side okay uh, after then after then you should attend the questions each and every day so that is how whole idea okay okay hope all are uh, agree with this point so guys uh, without delay let's start so you can uh, attempt this question through the uh, like a omr sheet or you can attend the, through your copy and paper and as you know that each and every question carry 1.5 mark if you did wrong one question then 0.5 mark will be deducted from your correct answers okay so this is your structure of the a uh, whole uh, the uh, the regarding the question okay so each question will be uh, with the 30 seconds and in the, that time you have to provide the answer okay so without delay i hope i should start uh, from the uh, right now okay so here we go with the first question that uh, and the time start now and time is off so the first question is that coordination is not a separate activity but a condition that should permit all the phases of administration uh, option a mune new mans uh, henry file and d luther gallic so the question number 1 uh, answer of question number 1 is option b new man okay option b new man so those are marking option b Uh, they are correct here and uh, so let's see the explanation of this question uh, you can get also question 
लाइक हु सेड द कोऑर्डिनेशन इज द फास्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इंक्लूड विद इन इट्सल्फ ऑल अदर प्रिंसिपल व्हिच आर सबऑर्डिनेट टू थ्रो व्हिच इट ऑपरेट्स ओके सो आई बिलीव दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्क्ड इन 2023 सो इट इज सेड बाय द जेडी मुने ओके जेडी मुने सेज दैट द कोऑर्डिनेशन इज द फास्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड एज यू नो दैट ही टॉक अबाउट फोर प्रिंसिपल इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दिस फोर प्रिंसिपल आर कोऑर्डिनेटिव प्रिंसिपल स्केलर प्रिंसिपल फंक्शनल प्रिंसिपल एंड स्टाफ लाइन ओके so the the these are the coordinative principle is the first you can notice here and this is the part of the four principle of the organization by jd uh, munne okay so uh, then moving to the next question question number 2 and the time start now and here the time is up so question number 2 who said coordination is based on the uh, direct contact early stage of planning then continuous process and uh, cannot be uh, ordered okay option a munne b newman c mp follett and option d none of the above so answer of the question number 2 option c that is mp follett okay those are uh, marked uh, mp follett so they are correct here okay so this kind of question was uh, asked in our last examination so let's see the explanation of mp follett so mp for mp follett argued in coordination so coordination can be attached by the direct contact among the uh, responsible persons in the organization and this is the opinion that coordination can be easily attained by the direct interpersonal horizontal relationship and also by the direct personal communication and thereby bringing about to argument agreement on method action and ultimate the achievement of the objective so the coordination according to mp follett it should be direct contact for example it is a horizontal relationship between the uh, two uh, like uh, the employee in organizations employee a employee b are here so they should direct contact in, instead of uh, they should do uh, contact in a uh, like uh, the uh, the like hierarchy or the chain uh, chain of command okay so this is how the direct contact then uh, second point the coordination could be achieved in the early stage of the uh, planning or the policy making okay so it is early stage it is not the what the later stage or the mid stage so it is early stage of the planning that each and every organization at the first stage they should they should plan regarding the coordinations okay that there must be a coordination say for example uh, like in our uh, this channel of youtube channel so so there there are different type of people are there and uh, each and everyone have a different uh, understanding or different uh, the like uh, background and we should have a proper coordinations uh, uh, and cooperation with each other say for example uh, that before uh, starting this uh, course i have uh, taken input from you guys so that is how one kind of coordination that is early stage of planning then option c coordination is well known and is a continuous process so it is not a overnight process so continuous process it is it is uh, the ever evolving okay each and every uh, that the stage the coordination required and it should go and uh, on and all the a time okay always coordination is required and coordination cannot be order coordination is not order so being a teacher of this uh, ssb lecture or the pgt i cannot order to you but i can what it should be brought by the effort of the head of the organization with he performing his function okay so what i can do i can function my uh, i can perform my function okay so i cannot order you so this is how coordination is cannot or be order so this kind this is very important with respect to when we talk about coordination and can be asked about mp follett okay coming to the question so answer of this question is mp follett the question number 2 then moving to the next question 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हु आर्ग्यूज द स्टेजेस ऑफ द पॉलिसी प्रोसेस डील्स विद द प्रॉब्लम आइडेंटिफिकेशन एजेंडा सेटिंग पॉलिसी फॉर्मुलेशन पॉलिसी लेजिटिमेशन पॉलिसी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड पॉलिसी इवेल्युएसन ओके ऑप्शन ए सो योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ यू कैन रीड फ्रॉम योर साइड एंड ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड द आंसर and all these question uh, frame in such a way uh, that in going forward uh, uh, there you will not get there will not uh, uh, face any difficulty in your examination because these questions are uh, the all based on the previous examination trend okay and guys the time is up so a uh, question number 3 is it talk about the policy process so the stages of the policy process including problem identification agenda setting policy formulation policy legitimation and policy implementation and policy evaluation that is how six stages it is by whom option 2 is your answer thomas r die okay thomas r die those are marked uh, thomas r die so they are correct here okay thomas r die talks about the six stages of the policy process ओके सो मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज नॉट योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ यू कैन रीड एंड ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड द आंसर and here the time is off so question number 4 which is not uh, not the part of the policy cycle according to mm, according to may and wild sky option a problem orientation problem identification uh, then agenda formulations then implementation and issue analysis so which is not part of the policy cycle according to may and wild sky so the answer of this question is a b and c option 2 is answer so the problem identification agenda formulation implementation is not part of the uh, like this is scholar but issue analysis is the the part of the policy cycle so okay so answer of this question is option uh, b okay option b option 2 is answer okay option 2 is answer so moving to the next question uh, question number 5 and here the time slot now and guys uh, here the time is off so question number 5 who wrote a book understanding the public policy option a thomas r die option b Thom- uh, harold laswell c c may and wild skies and option d james anderson so the answer of uh, question number 5 is option uh, a that is the thomas r die okay so important book so those are marked option a they are correct here and uh, moving to the next question before that i would like to provide a explanation here that we have discussed that the different scholar and the policy cycles so the stages of the policy cycles so this question was last times in a trend so i think i should discuss with you uh, before that okay so thomas r die talks about six stages in the uh, policy process these are the problem identification agenda setting policy formulation policy legitimations uh policy implementation and policy evaluation so you should remember this uh, six stages they can ask the question that regarding the thomas r die okay thomas r die so we can take example to understand this six principle because uh, it's important to uh, remember or uh, to memorize this six principle so for, for for example problem identification so you guys identify a problem that we are we should start a uh, 
the crash uh, the booster crash course for the our upcoming remaining 30 days that is that is our problem identification and we set a agenda we set a agenda what na we should to cover the things in such a way that it is going to important for our upcoming examination we, what we do we do the question practice that is our agenda okay then policy formulations so he, when it come to the formulate that how we should to uh, include the different aspect the different content before starting the lecture that is our policy formulations i take input from you guys okay i also try to think on it analyze on it that is policy formulation then policy legitimations I, and I, and i also not only that i also check whether my plan is go in a appropriate or right direction or not so that is how legitimation how my work uh, legitimate okay whether you guys will be support or you will feel authenticate or not that is how policy legitimation then policy implementation now we are taking the class that is how our implementation stage then policy evaluation that in uh, like uh, in between the time or meanwhile we should also evaluate ourselves that whether we are follow our uh, the schedule or not say for example jodi mu tamon et kahi rakhi bi jodi like ame class ne baithe to bahu achhandi majhri ta kon karibe skip kor dei chali jibe to in between we should also evaluate our class whether we are uh, like uh, Uh, continue with our own schedule or with our own dedication or not that is a policy evaluation so uh, with this example i think it is enough to remember this six stages of the policy process because this question this these are the question which always in our examination okay uh, then moving to the next then the may and white sky so he talk about five stages in po- the policy process and this question was asked in 2023 uh, ssb so let's see uh, he talk about to the five stages that agenda setting issue analysis implementation evaluation and termination okay and then moving to the next horror less well horror less well talks about to the book policy science and he also talks about the seven stages in the policy process that is how intelligence promotion prescriptions invocations application evaluation and termination okay so these are the seven stages in the policy process by horror less well okay so this is your all about the policy process so of the with reference to the this last question okay question number 4 then guys after the question number 5 uh, i would uh, like to move to the question number 6 and question number 6 before you that consider the following statement option your time start now you should read yourself and provide the answer try to provide the answer and your time is of your so option a fw teller was coined the scientific management b bureaucratic administrative theory was given by vincent de gorne uh, then c hadon studies was conducted in the textile mill uh, near philadelphia so in the light of above statement choose the correct and answer of this question is basically option uh, 4 none of the above because all are incorrect here uh epidol teller is not coined the scientific management it's incorrect epidol teller coined the uh, sorry epidol teller is considered the father of scientific management but the scientific management uh, theory was coined by uh, whom louis brandeis okay then moving to the option b bureaucratic administrative theory was given by vincent de gorne no the word bureaucratic term coined by the vincent de gorne but bureaucratic administration theory uh, was given by your uh, max weber okay then option c hadon study was conducted in the textile mill near philadelphia no hadon study was conducted in the western electric company uh, chicago okay chicago based on the harvard business school okay so as you know elton uh, elton may from the harvard business school so this kind of questions was asked in your previous examination so hope uh, this question uh, being legitimate to you okay So this is the answer of the question of the six is the four. Those are mark option four. They are correct here. Then moving to the next question, uh, 
question number seven, which is not a principle of management according to Henry Fayol, and the time start now. And guys, the time is off here. Okay, so not a principle of management according to Henry Fell. Uh, as you all know, Henry Fell uh, provided the 14 principle, and the answer of this question basically uh, option three is the answer uh, because commanding and uh, coordinating these are not the principle of the management okay so within the 14 principle of management if you check out the commanding and coordinating are not part so commanding and coordinating they are part of the po triple c po triple c means function of educative and there is a difference between the function of educative and the uh, principle of the management okay so p for planning okay o for organizing okay then c for c for what c for uh, the controlling okay uh, and the another c for the coordinating okay and uh, sorry my mistake here the c for commanding and uh, coordinating and c for controlling okay so this is how the pocc and within this pocc the commanding and coordinating are the part but your uh, principle of management is not include this thing okay principle of in management including the hierarchy and authority uh, like equity initiative uh, individual interest should be subordinate to the common interest general interest so these are part of the principle of management and the this commanding controlling part of the function of educative so answer of the question number seven is option three then moving to the next question the question number eight here the match of the following question and here the time start now so if you notice it in the last 2023 uh, SSB lecture so they have uh, like asked a question regarding the new teller new terrorism okay and in this in that question most of people did mistakes okay so from going forward uh, you should not make any mistake with respect to this thing So guys, the time is off. So try, let's try to match motion and time study. So motion and time study that uh, work as per standardized process and time process. Okay, work as per standardized process and the uh, standardized the time process. Okay. So option like one ko then option A ko uh, the second. Okay, A ko second you can eliminate these things. Option D eliminate. Option B is eliminate. And remaining option is A and C. Then new terrorism new terrorism means what it work beyond the formal rule regulation and fixed law for the getter job okay new terrorism is b option uh, b to fast so you can eliminate this one is also eliminate and remaining one is the option c and option c is our answer okay option c is answer uh, then functional formation that uh, a multiple manager of the single uh, the worker okay of the single worker so multiple manager of the single worker functional formancy unity of command single manager instead of the functional formancy okay unity of command is given by your uh, the, uh, the like what henry file and uh, the functional formancy given by uh, epidol taylor okay and we should remember the what is the difference between new terrorism and motion and time study because people are get confused here and i think I, we should cover that